You couldn't run my life. Me na ask God for no money. Me ask God for no money. Say vanity, it couldn't run my life, no de. Me na ask God for money when me pray, no. It got no use in the inner man. And I live. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to it. This is tonight on MNE TV. As promised, I told you guys. I have a brethren. When I say brethren, I mean this is somebody who I have known for many, many, many months. You understand? Before he bust on the scene as this big bobo artist, we talking about Prophet Benjamin. Wanna say greetings, my brother? Blessed love and love. Let me get the, the COVID bong sign. That is why you say the social distance and all of that sort of thing. But we still here, all of we healthy, we are alive. I look at it this way: we are above ground, we are to give tax. Give tax. You understand? Because you will in all kind of see me, me. For those of them who ain't know, let me just inform you all. When I first met Prophet. Where I just asked him off camera was a man, a man called Paskeason's Point Fourteen. Yeah. He used to do a thing on Clifton Hill. Yeah. He said be a talent show, yeah. and Prophet got his fame to me. I could be wrong. I will he here. He could he could he could stop me if I'm wrong from doing what we call remixes. Okay. <laughs> he used yeah. to take popular songs back in the day and play a little twist it yeah. and get yeah. some yeah. humongous forward. I talking about I have seen Prophet handling crowd from a long 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 time. It didn't know. He's not the kind of artist that they you know them, them men who come and get a little one tune and get popular. That was it. Prophet was actually controlling the ground long before Trinidad and Tobago knew Prophet was. In terms of any DJ across the region who knew that, okay, if you're going point, there's certain men you have to respect. Yeah, Prophet was one of them men. Yeah, 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 when you yeah, come yeah, point, yeah. when he on a show, <laughs> you had to give him that full respect because when he take the mic, he going to dominate. It's not know who is this man coming to now. Nah, it didn't have that. So what is he seeing, my brother? How are things? Humble man, humble, just giving thanks and praise, you know? Same way. Living life, glorifying the Creator, mm -hmm. spending time working and being a better person every day, you know? Good, that's what we all have to do, but we all have to strive for, you know, for that kind of excellence. But let me ask this is something, a question I love to ask people, and on a scale of one to ten, one being the lowest, ten being the highest. Over the past, well, we know the pandemic thing has treated everybody, but I try to ask my brethren and them on a mental case now, because you have to understand, a lot of people shame to talk about the mental state in certain times because everybody's yeah. go through all kind of thing. People don't understand how depression is real. Yeah. People are trying to hide from it. And depression has signs. So yeah. I want to ask you, in that timing, when the world shifted from the norm, mm -hmm. you understand? What was your mental state? On a scale of 1 to 10? Um, 10. You was up there? Good? Yeah, yeah, Serious? Man. Well, yeah. let me know exactly how you was able to stay at 10. Um, my confidence is in the word of God. And when I see things like these things happening, it, 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 it fulfilled prophecy for me. Yeah. And once the prophecy fulfilled, that means the word of the Lord is truth. Now, if I catch God lying at any given moment, that is real bacchanal. <laughs> real, real bacchanal. So when things go in according to what he say, I could only give thanks to be alive in whatever time he allowed me to be alive in. To be a part of history to, that I created to fulfill it same way, you know. Right. So I can't vex with what I do have control over. Got you. You know, so it, it didn't put me just had to learn to adjust to whatever lifestyle. I mean, people in Ukraine right now had to adjust. People in Palestine had to adjust. People in Africa had to adjust. And presently, right now, everyone had to learn or should learn how to adjust right. when the time reach, you know. So for you, it wasn't really much of a mental shift. You just kind of believe in your beliefs and hold on to that and just yeah, man, day by yeah, day man. do your other thing. Yeah, but in man. terms of, we know you're creative, you're into the music, but outside of that, what, what you was doing to balance your time? Because remember, you couldn't perform no way. So in the downtime, I'm not performing. Well, the most important thing to me is food. Right. You know, I have kids, I have a family and it wouldn't be nice to hear a child say, Daddy, you're hungry, and I can't give them something to eat. You know, so I run straight one. Well, it's always something I do, but I start to do it on a bigger scale, which mm -hmm. is agriculture. Right. Yeah, to make sure that, you know, I plant. Just, just yesterday, we plant out, like, we have 80 crates of corn to plant out. Ooh. There's 128 holes per crate. Mm -hmm. You know, so we check that by 80. And I know today I leave my bedroom and them planting to come up here and do this right you know but so you went heavy into the garden yeah man heavy into so the garden so in terms of so at the end of the day you balance it out you wasn't doing any music so the downtime and that you just put more emphasis into the garden thing yeah. so you kind of move production up a notch move so production. if it was not wrong let's say you was doing as you know say you might have been doing 
let's say 50, you're going to the 100 and something because you have the time now to put in it. So that has been fruitful for you over the past year and a half in the yeah, pandemic that you're focusing on. Yeah, yeah. So now as you place opening up, you're going to slow that down, you're going to keep that production no, there and try and find a way to we, balance back in the music exactly, and that kind of thing. Keeping the momentum, mm. you know, because it have other people involved who see the need and the seriousness to actually take time to put them things in place before you might tell somebody and they might be half-hearted about the importance of planting and doing your work and you wouldn't get that full support all the time. Mm -hmm. But then when water more than flower and man realize, well now nah, well, we can't play with it, then man said to say, nah, let me really embrace this thing and get the bedroom and strength and we come together and work together and everybody could take home a little something to the family and that is the most important could sell a little thing, you know? Got you. Well here this on Tonight on M&E, we try to keep it real and in the now. So ironically, I real, I'm a man of the universe and I really believe in how things just shift. You, and you the, the viewer out there, this was the last minute. This wasn't something planned weeks that we bring in profit. So up that phone calls me, he was wrong and it happened. And ironically, just this week, I was having a conversation on air. And before I go further, I want to ask the pertinent questions. One, are you a bobo? Yeah, man. By faith, right? Yeah, man. Right. This is the discord that we were having. I made a statement, and it was not a derogatory statement or anything. I just said in passing, hey, I see a virgin of mine, a bobo virgin, I know some years, the man passing here might drive in a rage, right? Because we are under the misconception for many, many years that a bobo shanties has some outer poverty, if you understand what I mean, because people have this misconception in their mind, once you see a bobo, he's supposed to just sell nuts, <coughs> you understand, and be walking the road. I want you just to clarify certain things, just to, just to bring it up to you now. This is 2023. You are human beings first and foremost. We are all human beings. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you cut, you bleed, I cut, I bleed. Your spiritual beliefs is yours, and everybody needs to respect each other's man's spiritual belief. Because of the misconceptions of those things is why we see war around the world, right? Religion is one of the biggest reasons for war and bacchanal, if you're being honest. Man is fight religion, and it might sound crazy, religion and woman. This yeah. make man kill. Yeah. Right? So I'm uh, asking you this, just to clear certain things up, just to give us a better understanding because that is your faith. What is really the doctrine as to what is supposed to be, what is deemed by man's mouth, an honorable bubble? A man that walk it uprightly and try to revive, restore and finally preserve the ancient order of Melchizedek to the best of his heart. Someone who takes righteousness very serious. You know, and works to accomplish that on a daily basis. You know, always working to overcome your old self and create a new self. Right. Yeah, I see that. Uh, so, for the for the critics, the people who might say, "But how 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 profit is bobo and profit into the music thing and into show and remember, he used to have all them things that how come he singing a soca monarch and whatever?" Because I personally believe it's a separation. Mm -hmm. Because what a man does and who he is is two different things. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because people have to understand, like, you might go to school to be a doctor or a lawyer. You understand? Your job is to defend. If you're a defense attorney, right. you might not morally, your moral compass could be intact in whatever job you do. Mm -hmm. So the question is, when people come at you, how do you balance you living up to your doctrine and it still being a part of what is considered wrong in the eyes of human beings, like the, the, well, the singing of the soca, the type of music and that kind of thing? Well, it, it, I don't think it will, be, it will ever be an easy task to try to live your life to please people perspective. But when you're living to please your creator, well for me, my creator, it have principles and the liberty that comes with a package. You know, it, it, you're going to get fight regardless. Right. You know, I mean, if you everything does have some challenge to deal with in its progress. If you're planting garden, it has some disease to come to try to deal with the plants. Too much and, and pesticide and things. Pesticide. Facts. You're Facts. planting farm. You're doing chicken, rabbit, whatever. You have to get things because things are gonna come to try to harm by. Facts. And if you doing anything progressive, somebody will come to try to be a pest. Right. So you prepare for that mentally. You know, you don't have to treat them negatively, but you must be mentally prepared to deal with that when it comes. Mm. So for the people who would find that probably profit not representing properly, I think that these people exist to help me get stronger. Right. You know, I don't look at what they have to say from a negative perspective because some people hate correction. And sometimes if you're listening to what people are saying, sometimes it have a strength in it. 
Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes what they're saying is just based on some status quo that they have mentally that something they're accustomed to, some domestication. Right. So on behalf of like a bobo driving a, a, a Range Rover, that's a no thing. I have bobo bedrooms who, who there's QC in big companies. Right. They send them Guyana, my baby send them Suriname, send them where. And when they reach, there's a pen in the pocket and a book. Right. That is their job. Their job is not actually that type of labor. Because they reach a certain level in their education that permits them that type of job. Right. And it's a bobo shanty. Got and it. I know the bobo shanty bedroom who plant garden. I know who, who sell nuts. Right. You know, the whole thing is to be productive, keep the commandment. So, holistically. Holistically. So, so if it's better to keep, sell nuts and steal. Correct. Correct. You know? So I'm glad that you come here. So we hear from we hear from somebody who I think is authentic in the faith and authentic to self. You dig? So for those of you in that discourse, there is nothing written in the doctrine saying that you have an oath of poverty if it's a bobo shanty. So all you get that out of your mind. You don't <laughs> no, have to no. live and look and act like that. You can be progressive as well. And something he said when you're listening, you understand sometimes when you speak, you have to listen actively. Some people just listen to answer too. Sure, sure, you understand? Sure, sure. So I want to thank you, my brethren, for yeah, passing man, through. Man. Only this is Prophet Benjamin, you know. You know, just that we want to know all they don't understand. This right here is amazing. This is a man who showed the ground how you could do it and still humble somebody you could still call somebody who does what is what is righteous on all levels that you heard him say, take care of himself, his family, which is most important, and of course it's part of the art form still and still living off the land and doing the right thing. So I want to thank you, Bridget, for yeah. passing through. Before uh, before we cut off, yeah. I mean the country, you said something that still something in my mind when you was explaining about the the poverty. Mm -hmm. Um actually I my latest release is a song called The Inner Man. Right. And that song explains it gives a different perspective on poverty because the words in it would say, I know a lot of rich people in poverty and a lot of poor people who's wealthy. Of course. You know, so you could see it and I could understand. For those of you who are breaking down faith, you can be rich with financial things and poor in heart. You understand? Poor in communication, poor in family life. And you can be poor with money, but rich with love and rich with family life. You say, no more. say no more. So that's all I have to tell you. So guys, we live here. This is Emily TV tonight. Keep it locked. I know a lot of rich people in poverty and a lot of poor people who's wealthy.